Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and having a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If not, I hope you're doing well anyways. Today I decided to build a intensely Christmassy little cottage. Um, and I actually did this with limited packs. I believe I ended up only using seasons and cottage living in this entire build. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more accessible for everyone and you guys are able to enjoy the christmas -iness. I will say this house is a little bit overbearing with the christmas -iness. Uh That's not a word, but I'm going to keep saying it. Um, I used the red and green wallpaper from Cottage Living on this entire interior of the house. It is a lot, I know that, but like when else am I supposed to use that wallpaper? Uh, it's Christmas time. I am allowed to do that. Of course, you can change this as much as you want. You don't have to keep the Christmas wallpaper. I will admit it's a lot, but I thought it was cute and appropriate for this build. So hopefully you like that for the Christmas season and you can just change it back when it's not Christmas anymore. I know that's not super realistic to change your wallpaper based on the season, but this is The Sims, so I'm allowed to do it because I want to and it's cute. Anyways, I also wanted to mention this is a starter home. It ended up being, I think, just barely under 20,000 simoleons. Hopefully you guys enjoy the starter home-ness of this house as well. There isn't a TV or computer, which is how I was able to afford so many decorations, but hopefully if your sim goes to work for a day or whatever, they'll be able to make that money pretty quick. And you know, there's always the library and whatever else you can think of. That wasn't really the point of this build. The point of this build was Christmas exploded. I know so far you are just looking at like the shell and the floor plan of this house, but believe me when I say it is a lot and I don't expect you to like it. It was for fun. So hopefully you have fun with it too. <laughs> I will also say I built this house in the snow because it was appropriate for the season, but I did also switch to manage worlds and come in and build on this lot to do the terrain paint and some of the landscaping just to make sure everything looked good year round. I think this house would look a little bit weird if you just left it as is and it was springtime, but I just wanted to make sure that at least it looked acceptable. So now we have placed down that intensely Christmassy wallpaper. Like I said, it's a lot. Uh, I have no shame about it. I think it's adorable. So hopefully it doesn't make you um, too nauseous looking at it or anything, but that is the wallpaper I used literally on the entire house. Um, as you can see, like I said, I don't know when else you would possibly ever use this wallpaper. It screams Christmas. So I used it and I like it. I do not know why I'm being so defensive of my wallpaper choice. It's my build. I mean, I can do whatever I want. I don't know why I feel the need to defend myself so aggressively, but also you may have noticed that a lot of the stuff I am placing, I am placing from the family inventory. That's just because I had some things that I really, really wanted to use in this house, specifically like some specific decorations and Christmas stuff. So I had already pulled that out and placed it on the lot before I started this build. So that's why some of this stuff is already in my inventory and I'm placing it from there. It just was really important to me that this budget home actually have some like really cute decorations. This house is only one bedroom and one bathroom. So I guess it's probably not the most practical home, but it is cute. And you know, it might be a good little house to start out in. I also did build this house in Brindleton Bay in one of those kind of back lot areas. You might see it when I zoom out a little bit more. I felt like it was an appropriate little cabin in the woods kind of vibe. Although maybe cabin in the woods isn't the appropriate way of describing this house. Um, cottage in the forest, <laughs> I guess works better. You know, maybe, maybe that's what I should uh, title this video. Just as kind of a play on words, I'll call it Christmas Cottage in the Woods and see if anybody picks up on it until they watch this video. Uh, if you do, if I do title it that and you pick up on that, tell me in the comments if you figured it out before I uh, mentioned it just now in this video. I've actually never seen that movie. I'm not a huge scary movie person. I'm way too anxious for that. So I don't actually know what it's about. I just know it's a scary movie. So I haven't seen it. Anyways, by the time you see this, I will be in snowy Wyoming and it's supposed to be like in the negative 30s when I'm there, which is bitter cold. That's in Fahrenheit, by the way. 
Um, that is bitter cold and I'm really not looking forward to it and I'm probably going to be miserable, but that's okay. As long as I can actually get into uh, Wyoming, I will be fine. I'm a little bit worried that if it snows or something, I would have a hard time, but I will hopefully be fine and I will be snuggled up by a fire when you're watching this video. Hello, I am back. I completely forgot that I was recording a voiceover and I got distracted and it has been like two hours, um, but I'm back now. Uh, just ADHD things, I guess. I have no idea what I was talking about, but uh, yeah, Sims build, Christmas, you know? Anyways, to talk about the build a little bit, um, you may have noticed that I didn't have a lot of money and now all of a sudden I have a lot of money. That is because I kept going into live mode to like test things or I don't even remember why I was going into live mode and then selling things and also because I had uh, gone into live mode between buying all of those items that I put in the household inventory and then uh, used in this house. So a bunch of stuff had depreciated and this house still is a starter home but I had to kind of calculate without, you know, my little calculator on my phone and figure out how much money I had left uh, because I wanted more money and I figured I had some. So yeah, but I immediately spent it. So, you know, just kind of like real life, I guess. Also, I had spaghetti for dinner and it was so good. I have not had spaghetti in so long. I love spaghetti. It is amazing and so easy to make and freeze and eat anytime. I love spaghetti. It was amazing. And now I'm like kind of in a food coma. So, you know, uh, if I sound a little bit tired, uh, that's why. I am full of tomato sauce. You know, I think this is the reason I don't have friends. I don't know how to have a conversation, especially when nobody else is talking back to me. Uh, I'm like the awkwardest person I know. And me talking about what I had for dinner, I don't know how I managed to make that awkward, but I did. And I'm probably gonna leave it in the video because I'm pre-recording right now. So I don't have time to re-record everything. And I just have to, you know, let go of the perfectionism a little bit and get over myself and just kind of let myself be a total weirdo, which I am. So, hello, nice to meet you. I'm weird. That also sounded really awkward because it made me sound kind of like, ooh, I'm so quirky. Uh, that's not the goal here. I'm just actually autistic. Also, circling back to the build again, because I keep talking about other things, it is so difficult to landscape when you can't see anything. Like everything was just white and covered in snow. So I, uh, I couldn't see what anything actually looked like and I ended up doing a little bit more landscaping later in the build. Uh, I don't think I recorded it, but I went in from Manage Worlds so that I could see things without snow um, and made sure the landscaping actually looked, you know, halfway decent and made sure the colors were what I actually wanted them to be. Does anybody else feel like specifically more festive this year than normal? I feel like the past few years I've been like super not festive and just kind of not in the Christmas mood around Christmas time. And this year, all of a sudden it just hit me and I became not a Scrooge anymore and began to enjoy Christmas a little bit. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't think I'm necessarily normally a Scrooge, but the past couple years I kind of have been and I guess this year it's just different. I don't know what changed. Is this just me or is it like other people? I don't know what's going on. Although I will say I have not decorated for Christmas and I'm probably not going to. I don't tend to be a big decorate for holidays kind of person. I don't see a lot of value in personally owning decorations that I'm only gonna put out like once a year. Um, I'm not judging other people who do that by any means. I think, you know, if you find value in that and you enjoy it and it makes you happy, by all means, do it. I just personally am not someone who's interested in it and so I don't really do it. I'm not a decoration person, which I think is fine, but, you know, even though I'm feeling more Christmassy this year, I still didn't decorate. Oh well. Also, I think I may have forgotten to mention it, but this build is up on the gallery. My gallery ID should pop up on the screen right now, and you can find it on there. It doesn't include any custom content or anything like that, so hopefully you will be able to download this and enjoy playing in it. 
that is pretty much the end of this video. So I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. You're taking care of yourself, making space for yourself, taking time for yourself, drinking water, eating food, remembering that you are loved and I'm proud of you. Happy holidays.